revival that will sweep across this nation in a greater dimension. Uh, but he showed me that this revival will spark out from the north. But in the north, he showed me the picture of the land of Takum that it will be an, the origin of this revival. A mighty move of the spirit. And then, in the realm of this, that vision, he showed me a forces that was ruling the land. There was God in the storm moving that forces. And as the forces move, I saw deep down valley that I looked through. I could not see the end of the valley. And I heard a cry and a shout of blood, blood, that this valley will be filled with blood because the enemy will shed blood in the land. That was 1995. So I show them in that force, in that vision, I saw a force. It was a the spirit came up like a woman that have seven breasts. But when I saw two of the breasts, they were shrink. And he showed me two personality. Then it was then I showed, I told them that the sitting chief of Takum, Okwe, will die. God showed me because I saw that breast, one of it. And the Lord told me that he will not make it. I shared that in the vision there. 1995 and the Lord said we should pray and cry it was a meeting that was combining both Jukum and Kute Chamba in that meeting we are praying so God show me that vision and after that havoc the lifting of the vision I saw Christ in the vision, I saw women carrying their bag. They were crying on the street, pulling their children. I was asking in that vision, what is happening here? And the women were saying, we have no houses. Our houses have been burned, up, destroyed. We don't have where we can lay ourselves. Tears began to run my cheeks. And I saw that all the great men in the land, all the churches in the land was watered down. I was crying, saying, God, what is going on here? And as I was crying in that vision, I saw a little light that was sparkling in the little corner. So gradually that light became broader and bigger and bigger. So I, I saw a heat of fire that came. And all that were small than I saw little, they were raising up great and mighty giants. I mean, for God. And they invaded the northern part. The fire cut up and the entire nation was invaded with the fire of the Holy Spirit. That little vision I saw. Today, God took me and rekindled the vision. I want us to pray because there's a controversy going on as concerning the land of Taco. In the chieftaincy affair. Let me say here, I want you to know if you're from Takum and you know what I'm talking about. I remember many years ago in the same land, God showed me 12 wells of water that was connected into the spirit realm in the land. I don't want to go detailed because those who were there, they knew exactly on what happened and the reality of that vision. But what I'm concerned, I want to share here that many people, if you ask them what is happening in Takum, they say chieftaincy problem. It's not true. When Kweli was still on throne, people were, people of Takum, they were, they started when Kweli was still on throne. The Kwe was there. So it was not true. It, what I saw this night is that God will want the manifestation because there is something that the elders are hiding there is something that they are hiding they don't want the upcoming generation to fulfill destiny they have their selfish in that is why we are going to pray just one prayer point and let the hidden be exposed and every elder that have a hands that want to manipulate to frustrate the destiny of the upcoming generation Lord let your judgment rest on them. The, the con 
controversy that is going on concerning the chieftaincy and the all in the land of Takum. Father, this settles it. If the chieftaincy issue is the big problem, settles it. If it is not a problem, scatter it and bring us the actual solution. Let the real solution be released. I am not speaking for any man, any group, any tribe. I am starting to speak the voice of God. And any man that will change this tone for any causality, may the heaven, the God has sent me judge that person. I am speaking for God. I am speaking for God. Father, descend. Let us look at the root of trouble in the land. That it will be corrected. And our nation will be destined. destiny. Shall we open our mother? Let this controversy be settled. Father, settle this controversy. We may not know it. We may not know it. You own the land. The land belongs to you. I am standing here to speak as a messenger that is sent to Taraba State. As a messenger, a voice that God raised in the land of Takum. I am not speaking for any tribe, for any group. I am not representing any institution. I represent the kingdom of the Most High. In whom Jesus shed his blood. But with some precious blood. The land that is redeemed by the precious through the precious blood of Christ. I stand here as a church to speak. When the two women came with a controversy concerning the baby child, this one was dragging, the other one was dragging. Through the wisdom of God, in the lives of Solomon, it was set up. I stand here and I demand that the controversy over the land of Takum. The controversy over the land of Takum. I decree and I declare that this night, any man, any woman, any power, any authority that is holding the council to manipulate the destiny of the land, to cause pain and affliction, to bring confusion into the land, I stand that God, the enemy to invade the land, it could be the fault and the failure of the people. But tonight I plead for the blood and mercy of Christ over the land of Takum, over the inhabitants of the land, both the major tribe in the land, the Kutebs, the Kum, the Chamba. I ask for your mercy by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says mercy prevails over judgment. Tonight, by the reason of your mercy, I ask that every form of judgment be averted. I stand today. I decree that Lord, let this night be a night that you settle every controversy. Finding the chieftaincy as a fair. The move of the government system concerning the land. Whatever the government is standing to do, that is contrary to your will, that is not in line with your will, we stand today, that let that council be destroyed. I stand that if they want to do, we be the solution that will bring lasting peace and solution to the land. Whatever they are planned to do, this night, rearrange the program. Let every program in the system of what chieftaincy affairs that have to do with the chieftaincy affair of Takum, rearrange it. Arrange the pattern to fit into your land. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
and any man, any authority, any institution that has a plan in heart to frustrate, to destroy your agenda, to program anything contrary to your agenda, those that you will not spare them, take them off. Those that you will show mercy to turn the situation, show them mercy. This night, we ask that you settle every controversy concerning the land. That the land we have peace. That the land we have joy. To unite your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the battle is against the church. The battle is not against any tribe. It's against let the church, the Bible says, you will build your church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. We talk authority over the gate of hell against the land, against the church uh, in the land of Takum. We take authority over it and we command it to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I want Christy, you have to take over. Uh, Pastor uh, Emmanuel Ajuku, come here. Let's hold our hands. We represent the truth. Father, peace we ask for. It's for unity we stand. Anything that will bring peace and unity in Taco, do it. Anything that will not bring peace and unity, frustrate it. We apply the blood of...